It is certainly women who are able to transform the world, if that is what they want. The woman holds in her hands the key of power. In fact, the woman controls the biological activities of the man. She has this power. The only thing that she must do is retain this prodigious force, this creative energy of the third Logos. She must not allow it to escape. She must not permit it to merge into the universal currents. It is for this reason that the married woman in the chemical or metaphysical copula must assume an edified and essentially dignified attitude. Obviously, the sacred order of love stems from the Earth's most ancient times. We can recall in Greece the priestesses of love, the heteri. They were sacred in the most complete sense of the word and knew how to administer that which is called love and men had to be obedient to them. Let us recall there in the lands of Japan, the supreme priestesses. They ministered that which is called love. Unfortunately, the people of this modern century have lost the true feeling of love. modern woman must turn to the ancient wisdom. She must begin to educate the man. Sex is 100% sacred. And she must teach the man veneration for love and respect for sex. If the woman acts in this manner, she will be able to transform the world The woman must free herself from many constraining attitudes. She must approach the study of sex from a new angle, not considering sexology as taboo or sin as a cause for shame. If the woman is to regenerate the man, she must confront directly the mysteries of sex. She must teach such mysteries to the man. Unfortunately, the intellectual animal mistakenly called man not only does not know how to respect women, he commits adultery like an animal, fornicates incessantly, squanders money, that which is for his home, in the bar, in the casinos, etc. Unquestionably, the woman is called to assume a new role. She needs to transform herself by means of the creative energy and teach the man the path of regeneration. But this will not be possible if she does not have a superior electrosexual potential which will permit her to realize such a magnificent labor. It is necessary for the woman to reserve her creative energy. Only in this way will she be able to increase her electric potential so as to have sufficient force or authority to enable her to transform the man, to take him from the bars and teach him the path of responsibility, to indicate to him the path of regeneration.